Okay, so we have season 49, war number four. And war number four is an interesting one because as far as right now, I only have one death in the season. And it is against the serpent on node 43. Well, in this video, I'm going to be rematching a serpent, this time on node 48. And we're going to see how that goes because I really need this revenge kill. Otherwise, I'm going to feel really bad because I know Claire does serpent really well. I know I can do the fight very well. And if I die to serpent twice this early in the season, my morale is going to be really low. So I want to make sure that I do this fight as fight as best as possible, but to start, we're going to be fighting CGR on node 4. This is probably the best CGR on node 4 fight I've ever done. Um, it went really, really cleanly. Um, it is worth mentioning that this CGR is only a rank 5, and I've been fighting rank 5 ascendeds mostly, um, but also, you know, he's going down really fast, and um, if I don't kill him with that SP1, I'm pretty sure I kill him with a medium right after, and he's down. So that was a really easy first fight. Again, I've talked about that fight a lot. If you know how to take it, it's pretty easy. If you don't know how to take it, it's almost a death sentence. And I learned how to take it, um, largely due to my officer really helping me. So um, next up, another common placement for me is Void on node um, 13. And um, the funny thing is that um, for planning in my alliance, I do not plan but I am the one who writes the notes um, sometimes and does the uh, screenshots to send out to the battle group. And um, in my notes, I wrote for myself, see if you can do it in sub 20, uh, to see if I can do the fight in 20 seconds or less. And I did it in 21, so I got pretty close. Um, but yeah, I did it in 21 seconds. That fight is so, so ridiculous. Um, you do take a bit of damage, but also, it's so funny how fast it goes, so. Alright, now we have a rank 3 Overseer on node 26. This is purely a diversity placement, because Overseer pretty much doesn't benefit from any of the nodes. The only buffs he can gain is when he's in Cosmic Mode, and he's not going to be in Cosmic Mode too often. Um, here, I am going to mess up, because I thought there was enough time between my counter evade and my medium to where he wouldn't count it as two hits for an auto block. Um, but he did, so I messed up there. Luckily, uh, that's the only mistake I make in the fight, because I learn at that point, okay, um, I can never do a counter evade into a hit, um, when he's got the auto block active, so. Um, sometimes I'm gonna go for the heavy attack when I want to counter the special, but I didn't feel comfortable with the spacing on the SP2, so I did not try to heavy counter the SP2, probably for my own safety, which was a really smart play. And um, I'm just playing it slow. This is my only other Elsa fight, so I do not have to worry about losing health as long as I do not die. Um, so I'm just trying to avoid his auto block, and then I can go in now, and we're gonna go for a light ending combo, and then an SP1 or an SP2. Um, SP1, okay, and that's gonna finish the job, so. Easy fight, um, I just made a simple mistake, but it did not uh, cost me too much. Alright, next up we have Cersei on node 35, and I'm activating the big boy boosts because um, I'm taking my minis along with this as my last path fight, so um, we're gonna activate all my mystic power backs and all the mystic special damage, and um, yeah, so there's my boost and stuff. Um, I have died to this fight before, um, it was last season, and um, it was largely because of the fact that I chained my SP2 for my hit that glanced, and it caught my buff immunity, and from there I was kind of screwed. Um, so in this fight, I need to make sure that my glancing always procs, and that was a bad start. Um, I did not expect her to throw that SP1, so I was kind of holding block to uh, keep her from throwing the special attack, um, but she did throw it, and I didn't react fast enough, so I did eat that SP1. And there, um, I ate it again. So, that's great. And here I'm like, okay, I need to get out of this fight because clearly I'm not doing it well. Um, so, I'm just going to try to kill her as fast and effectively as possible from this point. And we have all of our X Magicka prowess, so at this point I'm just concerned about uh, keeping her power controlled. And 
yeah, you can see we're doing a pretty good job power controlling her because you saw that SP2 push me red um, because of the buff immunity proccing a bunch of times and my power backs. Um, so I throw my SP3, she's down to 7%. And I'm going to be able to kill her with a combo right after. So I got the parry right right away, and she died. So I'm very glad that fight got over, because that scared me. Um, speaking of fights that scare me, this was the complete opposite. I was actually very confident about this fight going in. And it's not going to go exactly the way I wanted it to. Um, I think I didn't realize how annoying Gladiator would be with the node that makes his specials cost half the power. Um, and I should have used a power start 1 boost in this fight. It would have made it a lot easier because then I could get my buff immunity before he throws any special attacks. And then again, I do I do get my buff immunity before he throws any special attacks, but also I'm going to lose it pretty fast and I'm going to wish I had it um, pretty soon. So he's going to throw that SP1, which in hindsight I should have pushed him to an SP2. Um, if you time it right, you can hit Gladiator when he's in his SP1 animation um, before he can react to you. And I did that, but um, I also threw a heavy into his unstoppable because I thought that would end faster. Um, it didn't. Uh, anyway, um, I'm losing a bunch of prowess because I'm dexing him a lot because he's unstoppable and I'm just trying to avoid him. But here I'm going to get in my corner and then try to um, knock him down. And then I get my heavy attack parried. And I'm like, okay, he has 14 confidence, and I am not feeling good. So I wait for my parry heavy to get work, wait for the stun to fall off, and then I'm going to go for my SP3, which is going to do not that much damage, but that's okay, um, because we dumped my charges, so I, now I can start building a lot more, and I'm not in my corner anymore, which is the definitely a big deal. Um, so I'm going to go for my SP2, and we're gonna get the buff immunity active. I also got a lot of power because he was immune to the nullify from that passive he had. So I got a lot of clairvoyance charges triggered. And here I need to knock him down. So I'm gonna go for the relic into a heavy attack. And you can see here, I have the fight down at this point. It was just a big struggle getting into the rhythm. And once I got into the rhythm, I was able to do a really good job. It just took me a little while to do so. So he throws his SP2 into my block too, which was great. I just lost a bunch of health because of that. Luckily, um, we're fine, so it doesn't matter. Alright, now we have Penny's fight, and this is against a rank 3 America Chavez on Hazard Shift, Incinerate, and Poison. And the reason I'm using Penny for this is because she is immune to both of them. So, the only thing I have to worry about is it being a stun immune Chavez. Um, unfortunately, stun immune Chavez is still terrifying, so I am a bit nervous here. Um, especially when I'm just trying to get her back up and she throws a heavy basically immediately. So she already has one dimension up and I was hoping that she wouldn't gain dimensions the entire fight. Um, but that's okay because she's just going to go for another one. Why not? Um, so now she has two dimensions and I'm like, okay, if she goes for a third one, that means she's going to trigger another unique dimension. And, um, I did not mean to block there. I was trying to dex. And so here I'm like, okay, we're barely 30 seconds in the fight and she's already going to have four dimensions active. This is terrible, so, and of course she's going to get the negative, uh, not the negative zone, the dark dimension, which is going to do damage reflect. Why couldn't she have gotten the orange one? But, okay, so here I'm just, she's basically spamming her specials, and I just need those dimensions to fall off. Luckily, Penny can power burn if I throw my special attack, or my special one, with 10 or more charges. And I did have that lined up properly, so I can get the power burn, giving me a bit more insurance. But she still has that damage reflect. Luckily, she's really um, being nice about throwing those SP1s because that's definitely helping me, um, helping me with my charges and also just keeping her aggressive. So that's cool. You see me trying to block her SP1 a lot, and that is strictly so I do not trigger MD when I do not want to because sometimes I do not want her to gain an absurd amount of power. I got a really nice ricochet intercept there that I tested before the matchup to see if I could get them cleanly. Because when you saw me at the start of the fight dashing back immediately, that's because I wanted to set myself up for a ricochet intercept. But she went for a heavy charge anyway, just because AI is great. Um, so we're going to go for a parry there, and then I'm going to go for my SP2 with 18 charges, and it's going to do plenty of damage. So we're actually going to overkill her by quite a bit. And yeah, that is that Chavez. Man, she had so many dimensions up so early in the fight, but luckily I played it well enough to where it was all alright, so.
Okay, the moment we've all been waiting for, and that is my revenge attempt. Um, obviously this is a different node than the serpent I died to, however it's still a massive serpent, and I am going to do my best to solo him. So, um, we're going to be fighting against node 48, which is a node that gives him um, impact charges when he gains prowess, and it has combat deja vu prowess. So, um, anytime I do the same basic attack twice in a row, it is going to give him a prowess, and that is not necessarily terrible um, when Claire has her buff immunity controlling most of the prowess. So, um, as long as I keep that in check, I'll be okay. But also, you saw me get my buff immunity purified there, and that's because of Conflictor. And if I have three X Magicka prowess, I never have to worry about Conflictor, but I didn't early in the fight. I really should have forced my way to get three of them, but I didn't. Uh, in hindsight, that would have been better, but we're also doing fine right now, so. Uh, we have four of them, and now I'm not too worried. It was at this point in the fight where I look at my health, and I'm at 94, I look at his health, and he's at 60, and I'm like, okay, yeah, I got this. And then I get caught on a dash back, so now my health is definitely a lot lower. Um, anyway, I still feel really confident, I still feel like I can definitely do this fight, um, because Claire is doing a really good job right now, but also I need to be aware that his charges are definitely stacking up, and um, we do need to worry about getting max, max clairvoyance charges, because if I do, then I will stop getting big bursts of power from preventing his power gain and his true focus. So uh, I'm going to go for an SP3 dump pretty soon. And the SP3 dump actually happened a bit earlier than I wanted. I didn't want to go for it that early, but um, here we are. So we're throwing it with 11 clairvoyance charges. It's definitely not going to do as much as if I had the max, but we're okay. He goes from 34 um, or like 38 down to 25, and now we can start gaining charges again. Um, I get caught on a dash back for the second time in this fight, and um, here I'm basically like, okay, my health is getting a way lower than I want it to, um, I'm going to block this SP1, I'm down to 32, and I need this buff immunity up. So I get the buff immunity up, and I push him away from me, and now I'm like, okay, I have my rhythm back, I should be fine. I just need to fight Serpent properly, never um, get hit by the SP1 unnecessarily, and I go for the SP2 here, we get the power controlling back, and I'm like, okay, he's dead, I got this, um, and I'm gonna go for another SP2 here, buff immunity is back active, if I can get my buff immunity to catch his death immunity, he is dead, and he's dead, I got my revenge kill, and I am so happy I got that, because otherwise I would be in a very bad state of mind after that first Serpent death, so... Anyway, um, we did lose the war by quite a bit, so we're 1-3 and three now, um, which is unfortunate. Um, we're definitely not playing very well this season, but uh, we can pull it around. Um, hopefully we win this one and get back to 2-3 and three to start a win streak going. So, Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing the video. If you did, hit the like, hit the sub button, all the YouTube things I'm obligated to tell you, and I will see you in the next video.